guys welcome to online web tutor i am sanjay we are learning laravel 8 framework tutorial this is our part number 26 inside this video we are going to use figure library to generate dummy data this is the continuation of last video in the last video we have used the dummy data as a static value but this time we will generate the dummy value using figure library and also guys if you're looking up the programming blog articles on CakePHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, Node.js, WordPress, then you need to visit this blogging website. Inside this blogging website, we have several different different categories and inside each category we have interesting programming blog articles. If I scroll down, so here we will see a section called latest blog post. Inside this latest blog post, we have recently posted blog articles. These topics are highly informative. So back to the topic. Inside this video, we are going to use Faker library. So first of all, we need to understand that what is a Faker library. So Faker library is a PHP based library which is used to generate Faker data. In the older versions of Laravel, the figure library we need to use or let's say we need to install by the help of composer based command. Now if I back to the documentation of figure library, simply go to Google and type figure library in Laravel. You will get the first link as the GitHub link. When I click on that link, inside this whole documentation of GitHub, you will get the complete guide to use to install all about this figure library. So to use this figure library, first of all, we need to install that. This, this library has several properties, several methods. By the help of that, we can generate any type of dummy data value. If I back to editor, in the last video, as we can see that, we have generated the dummy value as the static value means when we run our cedar command it will go and insert this dummy data without changing any value but we want that these dummy value or let's say test data we will generate by using a figure library so in the older versions of laravel as we had discussed that we need to install by the help of composer command but inside this laravel 8 we have integrated feature of figure library now if I back to documentation again, go at the top. So to use figure library, we need to run a composer command that will install figure library inside our application. And this is the installation command. But we are not going to install that because Laravel 8 has by default this means figure library. Only we need to load and create an instance of that. If I back to our database, click on students. So right now we don't have any data, go to structure and here are the columns. So we need to specify the number of columns means here its values. So back to editor. So first of all we need to create the instance of faker. So go here, let's say that faker. Here we'll use backward slash this will be faker and here we need to call the factory inside this we will have a create method now successfully we have created the instance of faker by the help of this faker instance we are going to call its properties and methods so inside this students table inside the first column we have the name so to generate the name value if we go to the documentation and search here, press Ctrl F, name here. To generate the name, we have the name method. Here as we can see that. Now go to again editor. Get rid of this static value. Let's say faker. And we have the name method. By the help of this name method, we are going to generate the dynamic dummy data. Next we have the email, again back to the documentation and if we search for the email, as we can see that we have several multiple options, 
call email, safe email, free email and so on. So we will use safe email. So copy this property back to editor. Let's say that faker and by the help of this faker instance we are going to call safe email property. Next we have the mobile number. If you go to the documentation and search for phone number as we can see here. So these are country based. Again we have 56 total searches. Go here. So when we use this property called phone number this type of number it is going to generate. So copy this property name. Go here. So instead of a static value let's say faker and here we have the phone number. Next we have the age. We don't want to put as a static value. We want to generate a random value. Inside this age value let's say we are going to specify a minimum range and a maximum. So inside minimum value and maximum value in between those numbers we are going to generate a random value. So if we go here and search let's say for between keyword so while typing this between keyword go at the top so here we have number between inside this number between method we need to pass a minimum value and a maximum value while using this method from this minimum and maximum it is going to generate a dummy value copy this number between method back to editor let's say faker here we have the number between method let's specify a minimum value and a maximum value next we have the gender if you go to migration as we can see that inside this gender these are the available options of gender we have so inside these options we want to put we want to pick a dummy random value of each created user either it will be a male female or others go to student cedar get rid of that so we need to specify a range values so go here and if we type the random element so inside this random element as we can see we have an array and inside this array we need to put our all available options each time it is going to generate a random value from all available options so copy this random element method go to editor let's say faker random element and inside this we need to pass an array let's say that male we have next as female and the next options as we know we have others now next column we have the address info again go here and search for address as we can see that we have our address property there are several properties we have so according to the type of given example we can use that so let's say that we are going to use this type of example which is going to give the complete address information so we need to copy this property go here and inside this address info let's say faker and we are going to use the address property so successfully now we have converted each value into dynamic replaced value back to terminal let's run our command so in the last video this is the command we have run to run our specific cedar file so if i press enter database seeding completed successfully now if i back to browser go to database click on browse now as we can see that we have the first as the dynamic generated row by using faker library again back to terminal let's run one more time one more time means two times we have run so it means two more rows have inserted inside this table and as we can see that each time it is going to generate the dynamic value this is because of using figure library so in the next video guys we will see the concept of factory because in this case you can ob observe that while hitting this command it is generating and inserting one row each time 
So to insert multiple data, let's say in an application we need 100 of dummy data. So for that, we have two options. Either we can use the for each loop here. We need to specify the minimum for each loop value as 0 and let's say maximum at 99 so that it can insert 100 number of rows. So we don't want to use the concept of for each loop. So in the next video, we will see the concept of factory. By the help of factory, we will insert our dummy data and also we will see that if number of more rows, let's say 100, 200, 1000, so how can we insert that? So this is all about the video of using figure library. So inside here, you will get the complete documentation to see all the available properties in case if we want to generate the password, means let's dummy password. So for that, we need to use our hash library. By using this hash, let's say we have a column of password. So to generate dummy password, simply we need to use hash. And inside here, we have a make method. Inside this make method, we need to simply pass a password and this hash class and static method make, it is going to convert this plain text into a hash text password. So successfully guys, inside this video, now we have an idea of using figure library. In the next video, we will see some more concept. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.